In this video we show how you can get a quick start when creating a new dialog by selecting uh, from uh, one of the existing um, templates that are supplied with version 11. So I'm going to go now and create a new dialog and now I get a list of all of the available templates. So let's start out with a simple customer dialog and there's my dialog over there and then if I click on this uh, hyperlink here I can see some notes about the dialog that give me some additional explanation. So that's a very simple customer dialog. Let's go now and uh, look at, uh, say, customers with multiple addresses. And so you can see that now we have a dialog that allows you to store um, different addresses for the customer in a repeating section. And again, there's my notes that give me more information about the dialog. So these dialogs are all unbound, uh, which means that they are not inherently uh, linked to any particular table. So, And the uh, notes here tell you how you can go to the data binding section if you want to bind the dialog to a table. So let's continue our tour of the new templates. So then uh, let's look now at an invoice or order. So this is a more complex dialog. You can see it's got a lot more controls. Uh, but you can see there's the dialog. There's my repeating section for my line items. It's got uh, client-side calculations built in. So I'm going to go there and type in, say, 3 times 3. That gives me 9. There's my tax rate of 5%. There's my tax. Uh, let's type in, say, 4 for the shipping. So there's my grand total over there. So it's built in all of the... Uh, client-side calculations, but again it tells you what you need to do if you want to go and bind this to um, uh, tables uh, in, your, uh, in your application. And then uh, finally um, we can see here we have uh, templates uh, for all of the uh, dialogues that discuss tying the dialogue component to the security framework for creating new user accounts and these three items in the uh, uh, template list relate to these uh, videos that were created that explicitly discuss the topic of using the dialogue component to create new accounts in the security framework. Thanks very much.